Hello friends, how are you? Uh, Michael Zuber here, author of One Rental at a Time, creator of How to Get Started with One Rental at a Time uh, online course. And what I wanted to do here uh, is the more and more I talk about our story and I share on different interviews, it's really come clear to me that there was kind of one moment in my life where I asked myself a question that fundamentally changed my future. And I think it's a question that many people should ask. So if you do me a favor, let me set up the environment where I was, share the question, and, and sort of share what that question meant to me. So uh, I was 30. So if you don't know, that's nearly two decades ago. But the age is irrelevant. It's basically, it was a number, and I asked myself a question. And, and that question was pretty simple. You know, I was in a job. I was probably even deemed quote unquote successful, whatever that meant. Uh, for me, that meant, you know, I graduated high school, I went to college, I got a master's degree, uh, I had had a couple of jobs uh, and been promoted a couple of times. And I was, uh, you know, I had a family, had some family responsibilities. And frankly, um, you know, all I was doing was running really, really fast on the rat race, right? I was, I was spinning that wheel as fast as I could. Money would come in and money would go out. So here I am on my 30th birthday. I, um, you know, I just suffered through the tech wreck, lost a bunch of money in the stock market. And I remember thinking, you know, is this all life is? And I don't remember how I got there, but the one question I asked is I, I looked up two or three levels in my org chart, right? So I was an individual contributor. So I looked all the way up to the VPs and I asked myself one question. And this is the question that changed my life. I basically said, do I want to be them? Do I want to be them when I'm their age? And the short answer was very quickly, no. Right. The, the individuals that were, you know, several layers above me back then um, generally were not healthy. Uh, they were generally overweight, highly stressed, probably on blood pressure medication or something. Uh, most of them, if not all, were on their second or third marriage. Uh, most of them missed out on their kids' soccer games and, um, you know, ballet recitals and, and all of those things. Uh, they were like they they seemingly were addicted to something. Now I know some were addicted to illegal stuff. I'm sure most of them were addicted to something, self medicating on on with alcohol or maybe caffeine or I don't know what. But you know, it really became obvious that I didn't want to be them, and that was heart. I was heartbroken, right? I was raised to climb the corporate ladder. I was told that was the way to go. And to have this realization and, and realize that that's not what I want to do, I was lost. I didn't, I didn't know where to go from there, right? I was spinning this rat wheel or this wheel as fast as I could, being a good little rat, you know, making money and spending it as fast as I could. And it, was, um, it wasn't going anywhere. And I realized it on my 30th birthday. So, I mean, you know, you know, the long story or the short story of this is I went to the bookstore and I, I, I hunted around and, and ultimately found Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which changed my life. I read it five times back to back. And um, that's what opened the door to rental properties. That's what opened the door to one rental at a time. Uh, that's what opened the door to find Fresno, right? Uh, I, I believe in invest in where, live where you want, but invest where it makes sense. I wasn't about to quit my job. I would have been bankrupt and divorced if I quit my job on my 30th birthday, if I just jumped in full time. I had to do it one brick at a time, one Lego at a time, whatever you want to call it. And I had to, I had to be really good at my job and grow and, and do all these things. So if, if you have a job and it's paying the bills, do what you can to make as much money as you can. But here's the trick. Start living below your means. I call it playing good defense. You know, what, what, what happens if you would start to live on 50% of your family income? Yes, you would eat out less. You'd take less trips. You'd have one less car. I don't know, whatever it is. But here's the magic. You can start buying rental properties. You can buy them conservatively. You can put 30, 35, 40% down. You can hold for decades. You can let inflation happen. You can let your tenants buy your properties. 
right? And if the market gets crazy like it did for us that I write about in the book, you 1031 out of houses to apartments and you go from eight to 80. So, you know, I just wanted to share that. It, it's seemingly resonating with people. Um, you know, if you're, I don't know, if you're under 40, I would ask you to look two or three rungs up and just ask yourself the same question. Do I want to be them? And if the answer is yes, by all means, go for it. Who, who am I to say what's right or wrong, right? Each, each is their own. Um, you know, if you're, if you're 40 and over, look one level up, right? Do you want to be your boss? And if the answer is yes, go for it. Be all you can be. Do it. Uh, but for me, it was eye-opening. It was a little bit heartbreaking. Uh, but it did kick me in the butt. It made me figure out this one rental at a time. I now think more and more people should ask that question. And I think a lot of people would be surprised that the answer is no. I don't want to be my boss or my boss's boss or my boss's boss's boss. I, I got out of college and thought I wanted to be the CEO. I don't know why. It was a sexy title. It was the top of the food chain. I don't know. It's, it, it's, it's not all it's cracked up to be. I think you need to buy time. I think you need to buy your freedom. I think you need to live below your means. I think you need to follow the one rental at a time strategy. Just get one and then get another one. And um, I'm here to help, right? There's this Facebook page. There's my YouTube channel, we get, which gets a daily video, which this will go up on, I'm sure. Um, there's my course. There's a free version. There's a paid version. Uh, there's obviously the book. So, And also, there's so much stuff on YouTube University. Uh, I think you just need to decide. For me, that was an important question. Do I want to be them? And if I answered it honestly and pretty quickly, the answer was no. So I just thought I would share that question. The more and more I tell this story, this piece seems to be meaningful. So I want to get it recorded. I want to share it with people. And I want you to ask yourself, do you want to be them? And if the answer is no, well, at least for me, that meant, okay, well, I still got to do my day job and be present and kick some butt. But I need to also work on some side hustle. And the side hustle I chose was being a landlord, one rental at a time. And I think it would work for a lot of people. So thanks for listening. Uh, I hope this uh, I hope this helps somebody. All right, let me know. Take care. Bye.